The Museum of Contemporary Art, located in downtown Denver, Colorado, or MCA Denver, was designed by Ajay Associates and construction was completed in 2007. This 25,000 square foot building had a construction value of $11.3 million and upon completion, MCA Denver achieved LEED Gold Certification. This gold certification made it the nation's first LEED certified contemporary art museum. The design and focus on sustainability produced a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, energy consumption, and the use of raw materials. The LEED, or Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certifications, include Certified, Silver, Gold, and Platinum. As previously mentioned, the MCA Denver Building attained LEED Gold Certification. A review of the MCA Denver Scorecard and the points earned shows that a focus was placed on three areas. The points attained in these areas totaled 22 of the project's overall 40 points earned, or 55% of the total points earned. The museum scores three points out of five on the LEED Water Efficiency Scorecard category. The museum has water efficient landscaping that reduces water by 50% and its indoor water use is reduced by 30% by using dual flush toilets and touch sensor faucets. The museum missed the point for not using innovative wastewater technologies and another point for irrigation of landscaping. The next area of focus was on optimizing energy performance, where 7 out of 10 points were earned and can be seen in the vast open spaces and use of natural sunlight. The final area of focus was on the indoor environmental air quality, where 12 of 15 possible points were earned and mainly included a before and after construction, internal air quality management plan, thermal comfort, and the use of low emitting materials. More than just the LEED accreditation, this building and its design was developed in such a way to be more sustainable. Many of the building's elements are in line with the LEED program, but there are many elements that aim to be long-term rather than simply meeting the LEED criteria. These elements include the exterior design, mechanical systems, long-term green building practices, sustainable building practices, and transportation. Over half of the building's exterior wall is a double skin facade, comprising of a translucent recycled building material composite and an insulating tinted glass curtain wall. The cavity between the exterior facade and the recycled composite is a plenum. The plenum acts as a relief outlet for air exhausted from the occupied spaces within the building while also reducing cooling loads. In addition, the double skin facade also filters the daylight before it enters the building. With input from both Inner Model Engineering and the Rocky Mountain Institute, the building's mechanical system through its integration with the facade helps both the climate control and the use of traditional ventilation ducts each become more efficient. An evaporative cooling system is used to meet the entire cooling load for the building. No refrigerants are used in the system and outdoor air is used in the cooling mode. Exhaust air is drawn out of the building through the facade cavity. The majority of the heat is delivered to the perimeter of the building by a radiant floor system. Differentiated by area and height, the art spaces themselves are arranged in three separate stacks standing within the overall building. The space between the internal stacks and the overall building is used primarily for circulation while natural light is delivered to the internal portions of the building via a T-shaped roof light and the space between the stacks themselves. Sunlight is directed to the employee offices and the lower levels via multiple light shelves and the open layout. Since opening, the museum has continued its commitment to being environmentally conscious. A diligent recycling program has been put into place with material being printed on recycled paper or being delivered electronically. There is currently a push for tap water being promoted over bottled water and green cleaning products being used by facility staff. The museum operates its own cafe that focuses on locally grown food and organic selections of beer and wine. Another practice that the museum has considered is minimizing the carbon footprint for its visitors. The site is located directly across from Union Station, 
and they encourage public transportation by offering admission discounts for people that use public transportation to or from the museum. Additionally, the museum has bike racks outside to motivate alternate modes of transportation.